Today we're getting wheels, so stay tuned, because this is going to be exciting. Alright, here we go guys. This is exciting. For what you've all been waiting for. So here's two of them. And the other two. Right here. I couldn't fit them all in. I had to put two in the inside, lay the seats down, and then I have the other two back here. So they are Nanking tires on liquid metal wheels. And they're 18 by eight, so can't wait to see what they look like. All right guys, so these are uh, the new wheels and tires. They're uh, liquid metal. I think I've already told y'all, but uh, they're wrapped in this, uh, what is it, Nanking Sportnex NS25s, and they are, it's a 18 by 8 wheel, wrapped in 22540 18s, so uh, we're going to start washing them, and uh, putting air in them, and then start putting them on the car. Alright, so now we're going to clean the wheels and shout out uh, David Patterson, that dude in blue. Uh, we're using his wheel cleaner, so we'll, I'll show you how it's done. see how it's already doing this magic and then once you let it sit you just spray it off I like to get a microfiber towel and just wipe it off and make sure to get everything else off. It should just come right off, but just a little extra. There's a little more that comes off.
now while they dry, I'm gonna get the other tires off and we'll be right back. So the first step is before you even lift up the car, you wanna break your lugs. Make sure that they're all broken. And it is kind of difficult. You don't want to take them all the way off. You just want to break them. That way it's easier to get off. Because <laughs> the tire will spin. Alright, and I'm going to do that all the way around. And I'll be right back. And I, I don't think I mentioned, but this is uh, the stock wheel lug size is a uh, 19 millimeter so and if you can use a ratchet or anything just take it off right, I'm gonna finish taking these off so now that you got them all broken you just want to jack the car up I'm gonna do the front first And since we broke them, it's a whole lot easier to get them off now. Here's one that I didn't fully get off. See how it turns? There's actually a trick you can do. So I got my camera person to stand on the brake. That's a little trick you can do with front wheel drive. You just stand on the brake and it comes loose. I'm gonna finish taking these off. And since I'm changing wheels, I don't need to keep the lug nuts, but make sure you keep up with them if you're just changing your tires. And make sure you go in a cross pattern when you put them on. For those of you who don't know how to put wheels on. Alright, so I'm gonna do this one and then we'll we'll skip to the back. Alright, so now we do the back and it's just the same exact thing. And since I already broke them all, it's easy to take off again. Remember, don't forget that. That's a crucial step. You'll those people that know it is a major step. And make sure you tighten them back down. The uh, stock 
Uh, torque spec is 80, so I would definitely do 80 pounds and torque it back down. Uh oh, I think I forgot one. And I just had the emergency brake up, so you can do it in the back. It's just not recommended with it up in the air. And then sometimes you just gotta hit it and it'll come off. So you just lift it up, make sure it's on. And I forgot my lug nuts again. I'll be right back. Alright, gonna make sure it's straight and you want to put the lug nuts in and you want to do the cross pattern too just like when you tighten them down just to make sure the wheel goes on evenly And this is a five lug, you do the exact same thing for a four lug, a uh, six lug, or eight lug, if you have a truck. And the last one. I just want to make sure they're tightened down before I drop it and torque it. Alright, now I'm going to do the other side and I'll be right back. Alright guys, here's the re big reveal. Hey guys, thanks for watching this far. If you like the wheels, uh, leave a like down below, uh, comment, let me know what you think about it, and don't forget to subscribe because it helps my channel out, helps me grow and make better content for y'all in the future. So, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, we'll see you next time.